How's it going, everybody? Uh, welcome back to another Helix video. Um, as the title kind of suggests, and if you've read the description, basically what is happening here is, uh, you know, we've all come to realise that gigs are a little bit thin on the ground right now. People are unable to go out and go to shows, and musicians uh, are kind of, you know, suffering financially and mentally. We all are. So a lot of what is happening is people are building patches at home and recording at home and stuff like that. So I just wanted to kind of pour out a few of the patches that I have been building for people for backing tracks and, you know, their own albums and, and what have you that's, that's taken place with the remainder of this year and into next year because we don't know when all this crazy shit's going to stop. Who does? Uh, so these are all studio based. This will be, you know, non liveable. I mean, you could if you've got a decent playback system, whether it be a PowerCab 212. If you're sensible, you're going to put your Helix into a PowerCab 212 Plus uh, or an FR or FR of some kind. It, it, it may sound good, who knows, but then they've not been specifically designed for that. So this one is called Double Trouble. It gives us an acoustic guitar and it also gives us uh, the princess amp from the nice people at line six so if we go into sorry about the popping as well by the way i've just somehow been setting up and ruined the uh the pop shield on the mic uh snapshot one it gives us the acoustic simulator and i tend to find that the acoustic simulator sounds a lot better if you are on the neck pickup of the guitar <laughs> And the guitar I'm using today is the Epiphone Joe Bonamassa signature model with the Pro Book is in. Uh, it's an Epiphone that's better than a Gibson. Go figure that out. Uh, and what happens is on the top line on path A, we first hit the LO, um, LA Studio Comp, the LO Studio Comp. Uh, then that goes into the Acoustic Simulator. Uh, there's a little bit of a debate as to whether you could probably put an acoustic ir in there as well so hit the simulator hit the acoustic ir you know and it, it's supposed to sound glorious i've not tried that i just irs are kind of a little bit of a rabbit hole for me i think it kind of just detracts from uh playing uh but i'm not saying it's wrong you know uh you could do it why the hell not there, there's no rules and then we hit the plate reverb and there's not a lot of reverb on there really <laughs> doesn't really decay you know over a long period of time i've not done anything outrageous to that mix is at about 30 percent it could probably come down a little bit more but again this this patch is kind of designed to be a little bit kind of strummy if that's a thing <laughs> out into song then talking about mountains and shit uh snapshot two then gives us uh the bottom row and what happens is the top row completely disengages uh everything turns off so all of these three will turn off the compressor turns off the simulator and that verb up there will turn off we'll then jump down to uh path number two that gives us the fender princess amp <laughs> Now, obviously, again, this is not a gainy patch. This is kind of, you know, it, it's middle of the road, you know. And that was on the, the neck pickup, and it... The sound of this amp... Uh, kind of confuses some people because they get i've heard a few people say it's not very clear and it doesn't cut through and da, 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 da. you you're running through a simulation of a one by ten so obviously if you're looking for a little bit more kind of separation and a bit more of a bigger sound then alter the cab you know just change the cab we're not going to do that now because i've spent far too long putting this bloody patch together so uh, let, let's not kind of tit about you know tit about johnny lee 2020 uh that then gives us snapshot three 
and snapshot three what happens is the horizon drive is at the beginning that then feeds into the amp and the drive on both of these will kind of come up a little bit not too much obviously because if we drive it too hard then i i personally i personally don't like it because you know the one by ten isn't uh isn't ideal for screaming high gain so this is the uh this is the neck pickup on the les paul <laughs> And it sustains nicely as well, you know, it'll just kind of, uh, it'll just sit there. And then we can go to the neck, uh, to the bridge, sorry. There's still plenty of <laughs> there's still plenty of girth there. Make of that what you will. He said girth. Uh, so the bottom row gives you the horizon drive that then feeds into the princess amp that then goes into the simple delay, which is just set to quarter notes. Not an outrageous amount there either. Uh, then we hit a plate reverb and. The calligraphic EQ, that's kind of there for you. Um, and obviously, all of these patches are completely tweakable. You can do whatever you want with them. Uh, I just kind of like the Cali EQ. Um, it just gives me the, be the better results that I'm looking for. To my old outer shape ears, anyway. Uh, it's not engaged on, on any of these. So you can kind of uh, tweak with that or you know change it to the tilt or whatever. And then right at the very end... Uh, we have another LA Studio comp, but don't forget as well, once we come away from the acoustic, if you look at the top line, it's all lit up. What will happen is we go into the Princess amp, all this will disengage, so don't think that there's two compressors running there and there, because there isn't. Don't lie to yourself, there isn't. They may look like they're activated at the same time to some people, but they're not. All right, good. Okay, so over the next uh, couple of weeks, there'll be a patch a week. It's all completely free. It's all on Line 6 Custom Tone. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, you can uh, hit the dingly dongly bell and the subscribe. And, you know, just leave a comment and let me know how it works out for you. What I'll do now is we'll cut away and we'll use this lead snapshot 3 in a, a backing track situation. So you can see how it sits in the mix. And let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice Christmas and I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you next week. See you later.